Hello, APE. Today we are going to be doing a balloon volleyball lesson. Now there's kind of a lot of stuff that you need, so maybe get it ready before we start. Um, I have a balloon. If you have a balloon, great. If not, if you have an HEV bag, and I'll show you how to tie that in a minute. Um, I also have a couple of chairs with this happens to be a bow staff because my kiddos do karate, but if you have a broom handle or something that you can tape, I've just taped it down to these two chairs here and then a towel. Okay, and the last thing you're going to need, you can use socks if you don't have it, um, but I happen to have a bunch of these flowers that were from the Dollar Tree. They're fake flowers, so it's up to you. Um, you would need a bunch of socks though, like 20 pairs maybe, just a whole bunch of them. But that's the last thing we're going to do. I'm going to show you our what we're doing today. So you've got our warm-ups. We are going to hit the balloon back and forth with somebody. Then we're going to hit the balloon over at the net with a partner. And then lastly, I don't have a picture, sorry, we're going to do my battle of the flowers which it would have been this friday had we had fiesta so to start with our exercises we are going to do our toe touches so i'm going to sit down here so you can see let me start some music over here hopefully it'll go um all right so toe touches ready we are going to touch your toes remember toes up to the sky as much as you can if you can't touch your toes, right here is okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good stretching. Okay, I'm going to move our touch toes over. And now we're going to do our hurdle stretch. So you're going to bring your left leg in, your right leg out. Oops. And go ahead and touch that toe or as far as you can. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And let's switch. We'll go the other way. Okay. And stretch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Doing that hurdle stretch. So I'm going to move that one over. We're finished with that one. The next one is our butterfly stretch. So you're just going to put those feet together. Okay. Try to remember, press down if you want with your elbows, but hands at your feet or your ankles. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome butterfly stretch. So here, we're going to move that one to finish. And the last one, the new one I was introducing is our table or a little crab walk position. So you're going to turn so you can see. Feet on the ground, hands behind you. And you're just going to lift up your bottom. Okay? And just try to hold it up. If you go down, that's okay. Just try to keep coming. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you can be higher, ten, <laughs> and down. So, good job, you guys. We just finished our last warm-up. So, I can give you guys a happy face over here for finishing our warm-ups. So now, okay, with a partner, we're going to do some balloon work. But let me show you, if you don't have a balloon, I told you earlier, an HEB bag, Target bag, something like that. And what I do is I start like the beginning of a shoe, do that tie, and while it's still open, just kind of swing and try to get some air into it. And when you think you've got a good amount of air, you're just gonna pull, okay? And pull tight, all right? And then tie it again. And then there we go, we got a balloon. Okay? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have my daughter Jocelyn, and we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you with this. Okay? You're just gonna go back and forth. Woo! Ah! Now it might give out a little bit, but it's not so bad. <laughs> or we can do 
you. The position with which, of course, is going to be easier. Um, it's also brighter, so you can see it. And we're just going to do this for a few. Oops, back and forth. Ah. Okay. It's okay if you do it a couple times on your side, but make sure that it comes back to your partner. You want to make sure that they get to play too. Woo! <laughs> She's trying to get you back. All right. So we've done that for, whoa, a few minutes or a few seconds, but you can do this for a minute or two. Let's count. I'm going to count kind of slow. Ready? Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you a happy face for doing step two, doing some partner work. Now we're going to add that net we talked about. So I'm going to move it so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, about right there. So you're going to have one person on that side and one person on this side. Now I am hitting it over, but it's kind of, kind of low, right? So if you have a way to raise it, Great, you can raise it and do it higher, or you can just sit down. So, go ahead and sit down. Sit down. And because it's kind of hard to see, if you want, you can do you can do it with the towel, or if that's too hard to see, you can always move the towel, but still you want to go over. We're working on volleyball, so we want to go over the net. Okay? And again, if you touch it a couple times or if it hits the ground, that's okay. You're just going to pick it up and do it again and just keep going. So we'll play woo, for one, two, three, <laughs> whoa, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> some balloon volleyball and you guys can keep playing that for longer you can always pause my video and keep playing but I'm gonna give you your happy face for playing some balloon volleyball now last thing we're gonna do like I said it would have been battle of the flowers and I always do my own take a battle of the flowers so what I will do and again this is where your socks would come in or anything else that is okay to throw um, but I take my flowers and I dump them all over. More on her side, I wanna make her work harder. Okay, all over. And then what you have to do is like clean up your room. You're gonna take them, you're gonna throw them over. Now I prefer one flower at a time, but eh, it's okay if you take a handful and throw them over. But the important part is don't go under the net. You have to go over the net. And I would normally set a time limit um, maybe 30 seconds or a minute, and then kind of look to see whose room or whose side is a little bit cleaner. So let me, let's play for just a minute. Oh, she was cheating while I was talking, I think. <laughs> Throwing them onto my side. She forgets I have bigger hands. So, uh, you're right. We've got our, we've got our net. We've got our flowers to have our battle. Now remember, it's not trying to hit the other person. You're just trying to get it into their room like that, so that they have to clean it up more. Okay, ready, set, go. Over. Ah! <laughs> Over the net. Over. Clean up your side. Clean up your side. <laughs> She's good aiming at my face. Ah, they're all Clean up a space and it gets dirty again right away. That's how I feel. <laughs> All right, and stop. <laughs> Let's see. I, I think my side might be 
pretty messier, I admit. I'm a little slower, I guess. <laughs> but look at who's better at making the mess over here, my child. So, all right, we just had our battle of the flowers, and I would do that a few times, but you get the idea, and you can go ahead and follow up on that. So, I'm gonna give you your last one. One, two, three, and four. You've done, Coach Angie, and now you can go ahead and take a break. Have a good week.